What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is probably one of my most requested videos of all time and that is a room tour. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see my room. Now the reason why I haven't filmed one yet is because I have been in the process of trying to move for quite a while. But now I have moved and I'm starting to get settled in and my room is starting to come together. My room isn't done and you will see that but it is pretty darn good at the moment so i thought i would quickly show it off but since it is not done i will probably do a follow-up to this video in about a month so if this is your first ever video on my channel please consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to see my room completely done and finished and probably hopefully about a month it will be done and finished that is my goal that would be awesome but anyways guys, let's get into the tour because I got a lot to show off. So here is where you guys are normally at. This is my light stand. I absolutely love this thing. I got this thing off of Amazon for like 80 bucks and it works perfectly. I recommend everybody go get that. And this thing is super bright, but yep, that is where you guys are normally at. And then we turn around, there's my background. That is going to be my new background for hopefully all of my videos. I love the background. I've worked hard on it over the past couple days. Obviously this isn't done, okay? This is going to be completely filled with posters hopefully by the next month. So that's why I said hit that subscribe button because once this room is complete, it is going to look amazing. But here's my complete room. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I just moved and I'm starting to get settled in. And my room is obviously starting to come together. Uh, this is actually one of my dreams is to have my own room for all of my collectibles and films and everything. And I finally have that, so that is amazing. This entire room is literally just for my collectibles and everything. So I love that. Uh, but anyways guys, I'm gonna show you guys everything. So let us start by this door obviously here's my door this is the entrance to the room and nothing special it is just a door but if you go to the right there is my link poster that is the first thing that you will see it is amazing although i don't know if that will be staying there for too long but for now that is a fine spot for it and then above that you got the avengers thanos in the center with iron man cap all of them love that thing i got that at hobby lobby Pretty cool looking. And then here's the first shelf in my room. So up top I have my NECA statues. These are quarter scale. Obviously I got Deadpool and then Christian Bale Batman. I love those things. I love NECA. They are one of my favorite companies. And yeah, that is a perfect spot for them. And then on the second shelf, you obviously got all my Star Wars things. That's pretty much all my Star Wars items. A bunch of just like random collectibles, pops, toys, everything. And then in the back, I got all of my Star Wars films right there. And that Funko Pop is actually signed by the actress who voices Ahsoka. So I love that. Um, and then on this shelf right here, you just got some gaming collectibles. That is the Last Guardian statue. That is Tracer from Overwatch. And then you got some more Overwatch stuff. I love Overwatch. And then you have Mega Man. Like I just said right there, I love Link. And uh, I love Zelda. Just everything about it. it is my favorite gaming series of all time. And this is my Zelda shelf. I love it. Right there is Skurvo. And then obviously Link from Skyward Sword. And then you got Gandorf. And then another Link. And then Skull Kid from Majora's Mask right there in the back. So pretty cool. And then on the last shelf right here, this is where I keep a lot of my Funko Pops. It goes all the way back. It is three deep, but that is pretty much all my Funko Pops right here. I don't have a lot, but obviously I do have more on the side. Now this is mainly my Marvel Funko Pops. These are all Marvel ones, obviously all Marvel. So, yep, I don't have a lot of Funko Pops. I know a lot of people have a lot more than me. But it's a decent size collection and it's growing a lot. So there we go. That is that shelf. Oh, and this box is right here. These are just collectibles that I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. And for right now, there's kind of like staying like in their boxes right there. But yeah, that's what that is. 
So now we have done this entire wall. It is time to move on to my favorite shelf in this entire room. This is probably my most expensive shelf. I got a lot of my more expensive items on both of these shelves. Now these shelves I actually just bought at Walmart for like 45 bucks each, not too bad. They're pretty good shelves. I definitely recommend them. Up top, the big item, very big. This is a one-to-one -one scale replica of Captain America's shield. Yes, an exact replica. This thing is amazing. It is one of my favorite things in this collection. And it is big. Right beside that we have a black suit Spider-Man. Pretty cool little statue. And then we probably have my most expensive thing in this entire room maybe. This thing is expensive. This is the Captain America Civil War statue of Iron Man. And obviously Captain America. This thing is amazing. It probably costs like $400 to like $500. Actually only made a thousand of these ever. So definitely pretty cool to have one. And right beside that we have the Spider-Gwen statue. Obviously pretty cool, I love Spider-Gwen. And then this Hulk statue. Now this thing looks amazing, right? Now, what if I told you that this is only a $45 statue? Because it is. I recommend everyone go out and buy this. It's only like $45 and it is worth every single penny. It looks amazing and for the money, you just can't really beat it, but that is a Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. On the shelf below that, we have this thing that I just recently bought from GameStop. Obviously, this thing is really cool. You got the Iron Man arc reactor, the Black Panther beads and everything. You got the spider cuffs and the Doctor Strange stuff right there. Definitely pretty cool. I love that thing. Got that from GameStop, like I said. And then right next to it, you guys know what that is. That's obviously an Ant-Man helmet, and that's obviously Black Panther's helmet. Both of these are made by the exact company that made that. I'm actually trying to collect all of their items that they made. They're all super cool and not too expensive. And I really like those, so happy to have those. And then, free go to the shelf below it. You guys see some more statues. You guys see Phoenix, Deadpool, and Old Man Logan, love all those statues. That is pretty much like my X-Men shelf, so pretty cool. And then besides that, you got Spider-Man from Infinity War and Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, two of my favorite characters in the MCU, and pretty cool looking statues. Then on the bottom, the Infinity Gauntlet. Gotta have the Infinity Gauntlet, love that. Again, that is made by the same company that made uh, those two and that So pretty cool. That is a one-to-one -one scale life-size replica Pretty cool and then the last two items on these shelves Two more helmets you got the Poe Dameron helmet from the new Star Wars films and then Master Chief I love Halo. It is one of my favorite gaming series of all time and pretty cool helmet those are Probably my favorite shelves in the entire room I love it. Here is my record player. I don't use it that much, but I do like buying soundtracks to films. And all of my records are actually in the other room right now. But I do have my player in here and it is pretty cool. I really like it. Right besides both of those shelves, we got this little Doom statue there that came with the Doom Collector's Edition. I am very excited for the brand new game to come out. I love Doom. And a little sign that says subscribe, which by the way, you guys should definitely do. And then Squirtle. Gotta love Pokemon. I love Squirtle. And then my Amiibo collection. Don't have a bunch of Amiibos, but I do really love Nintendo. And I love Amiibos. Just don't have a bunch, but not bad collection. And then speaking of Nintendo, Man, oh man, look at this shelf. All Nintendo joy. You got GameCube games, N64, Wii, DS, 3DS, NES, SNES, even like Game Boy games and stuff. I love Nintendo and everything is on that shelf right there. Now we are down to the big wall, the background. This is what you will see in all my videos because I've only filmed like one video in this room so far. 
But yes, this is my new background. It is pretty cool, but this is the biggest wall in the room, and this is my movie wall where I keep all my movies. But let's go down the aisle. Um, first up, I have this like Black Panther bag. I don't know why it's there. I just like it. It looks cool, and I just put it there because why not? And then obviously, this is my Criterion collection. All of my Criterions. I love Criterion. And then on the bottom, we have like TV shows and just other items. Definitely pretty cool shelf. And then Spider Gwen. Gotta love Spider Gwen. This shelf, this ladder shelf, is my superhero shelf. Obviously, right there we have the MCU films, all of them. And then we have this Funko Pop, and it is actually signed by Paul Penny for Josh. Yes, I actually met him. And then just some Funko Pops and Black Panther. We go below that shelf and we have my DC shelf. We got the Dark Knight films. We got all of the old Superman and Batman movies. Obviously the newer DC films. Just a couple little toys there with a Wonder Woman Funko Pop. And we go to the shelf below that. And this is my X-Men shelf. We got all of my X-Men movies with a couple of Funko Pops. You got Deadpool and Wolverine. So cute. And then this thing is one of my prized possessions in my entire collection. I love this thing mainly because, yeah, that is right. You see that right there? That is hand signed by Stan the man himself, Stanley. No, I never met the guy. I really wish I did, but I got this for an insane price, wonderful price, and I just couldn't pass it up. I love Stan Lee, and I'm happy to have something in my collection that is signed by him. And I hope someday I can get something else that is signed by him. I don't know. But I love that thing. And then the bottom shelf. Well, that shelf, I'm not sure really what I'm going to do with yet. Kind of in the back, I have some comic books. And then I just have some like Star Trek things up front. So I'm not really sure what I'm planning on doing with it yet. But it's just kind of storage right now for stuff that I don't really know like where to put. But here we go, my movie shelf what you guys want I'm assuming this is what a lot of you guys want to see all of my movies let me know down in the comments if I should actually do a complete blu-ray collection I really want to but I mean I obviously have a lot of blu-rays and that would be a long video and a lot of editing and I don't know if I'm like ready for that but if I get enough comments saying that you guys want that I will definitely try my best and do that for you guys because I know you guys probably want that but here is my movie shelves I have all my movies in alphabetical order starting with 310 to Yuma and then the blu-rays actually end right here with Zootopia and then I have some DVDs not many but I still do buy DVDs if it's cheap enough why not they work, they play still. Then up here I have my box sets. I got this Mad Max High Octane Collection. Absolutely love this box set. It is my favorite box set in this entire thing. And I love it. And then Alfred Hitchcock set. Yes, that's me, say hello. The one thing I don't like about this is yes, it did break, but whatever, not much I can do about it. It still looks nice. And then you got Watchmen, great movie and very cool sets. And it is holographic, so really nice. And then you got the Batman, the complete classic Batman collection. This is the entire TV show. It's good, it's funny, it is just good cheese, and I gotta like it. Uh, and then you got Chasing Amy, the, and this is actually signed by Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith, and this is probably my favorite Kevin Smith movie. And then you got The Sound of Music, pretty good movie, classic, yeah, yeah, yeah. My all-time favorite movie, yes, The Departed is my number one movie of all time. It is a masterpiece, I love it. And it is actually signed right there by Mark Wahlberg. It's kind of hard to see, but yes, that is signed by Mark Wahlberg. I actually met him and he hand-signed that. So that's pretty cool. And that is the Bond sets. That is every Bond movie except for the last two. But I got this thing for a really good deal, and it is a really cool box set that is jam-packed with a bunch of stuff. And then that is the Home Alone paint can. Pretty cool. Like I pointed out earlier, here are all my posters. You got Spider-Man, Night of the Living Dead, 
a couple art things. And that is the shining poster, obviously, but look at that. That is signed by Shelly Duvall. Her right there, pretty cool. And then Mad Max at Fairy Road, my favorite action movie of all time. Then you got the Deadpool 2 signed by the actor who plays Colossus. And then an Endgame poster. Like I said earlier, I do plan on buying a bunch more posters and hopefully in the next month, that whole thing is gonna be completely full and hopefully I can do a follow up to this video because my room isn't complete. It still definitely needs some touch up, but hopefully I can touch it up soon. And I am just super happy with this room at the moment though. It is coming along great. Quickly before I go, I just wanna show off my couch because I forgot about that. This thing needs to be shown off because it is a beast. I absolutely love it. It is comfy. It is everything I've ever wanted in a couch. This was actually a gift to me because of my new apartment and I am very appreciative of it. And it goes like all the way back. Like this thing is just a beast. It is literally like a bed. Like it goes all the way back. I'm in love with this thing. My TV is right there and I can just game out and watch movies in here. It's amazing, I love it. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more in the future, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I love you guys and have a good one.